Thanks for checking out this video. Don't forget, like and subscribe. Jack Perry drives his shitty ass van through the streets of New York City where it fits right in. Why do you have to make fun of his scapegoat? The more I see it, the more it drives me nuts. Why? So this guy being a bigger and bigger star. It's dumb. It makes him look like he's second rate. When yeah. He, like I said, he should be driving in a Bentley or a, a, a G Wagon, something like that. An Escalade? Something blacked out with black rims. Yeah. And black windows. He's a star for crying out loud. He's done it. Shouldn't be right driving a race. He thing. likes it. It's not like he's forced to drive this scapegoat. He made it himself. Do you see what he did to the belt? He took a gold belt. He made it black. He's a scapegoat. That's kind now, of rock and roll, though. It's this kind of this is the funniest thing in a while. So it's Jack Perry versus Minoru Suzuki. Okay. Now, this is a collision match. Okay. And so the announcers on collision are Tony Schiavone, Daddy Magic, and Ian Riccoboni. All right? Word. Now, for reasons I cannot explain, they taped this before Dynamite. Mm. Okay? Mm. So they're going to tape this match before Dynamite, and they suddenly realize... That Ian Riccoboni has not made it to the building yet. Uh -huh. He has travel uh -huh. issues. Okay? So, before I continue, I would like to ask you two and the listeners, not Leonard, he got in a timeout, <laughs> if you were put in this position, you're taping mm -hmm. a match for Collision before Dynamite, and one of the announcers hasn't shown up yet. What would your solution to this problem be? Craig? Well, I would uh, ask them if we could do the match later. Okay, that's a, that's a solution. What about you, Vinny? I would uh, try to record commentary in post. Okay, you could maybe try recording commentary in post, sure. More on that later, by the way. Hmm. Or you could just say, Ian has gone to the back for an interview. He'll be back for the next match, okay. right? Something. Sure. Yeah. Something. Well, their solution, Tony Khan's solution was, pretend he's there. You're going to do commentary. You're going to pretend he's there. Um, and every now and then, you're going to go quiet for a while, and he will insert a comment in post. Okay? Mm -hmm. So that's, that's his solution. All right. Pretend he's there. So the problem is as you're watching this match, you can see he's not there. <laughs> Every now and then they'll do like a long shot and you see the announcers and there's no Ian Riccoboni. But like his voice just magically appears. So then there's another problem. Well, these two men start battling over to the announce booth. <laughs> Ian Riccoboni is not there. <laughs> well, apparently Tony Schiavone is such a fucking pro after all these years. That he realizes the jam they're in, and so he starts to scream, Ian is hidden under the desk! That's what that was. Yes. And then you hear Ian's voice say, but I'm scared! <laughs> and then you hear Daddy Magic go, Ian, get out from under the desk! Can we please put uh, Tony Schiavone in the Hall of Awesome? So what I would like everyone to do... I heard that, but didn't really comprehend yes, what's going on. Yes, if you have not watched this match, now that you have this knowledge, you must go back and watch it. <laughs> but I'm scared. And if you have watched the match, you also need to go back and watch oh, it again God. to fully appreciate what they attempted to do here. Why the fuck do we have to make everything so hard? <laughs> Just say Ian had to go to the back, or hey, oh my god, he saw he saw Minoru Suzuki, and all of a sudden he said he had to urinate. He'll be back for the next match. Something. I can buy that. You pretended he was there, but he was invisible, and then he hid under a desk. I'm like, oh my god, oh my god. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> the match was like just a normal, it was, it was, it was a, a Minoru Suzuki match. It was a, it was a Minoru Suzuki house show match. Yes. It was basically just there. I mean, it was fine. It was fun enough. But the the best thing was listening to the announcers pretend a man was yes, there, yes. and then listen to the man later insert himself into commentary yeah. in bizarre places. This he had one is... line. He was he was saying something like, um, "I forget what it was. It was something like uh, they were outside and 
and I think he said something like, yeah, you know, maybe maybe Jack would want to get a count out. And then immediately hear Shivani say, perhaps Jack wants a count out. It was like he he immediately said whatever Ian had said because he didn't know that Ian was going to say it later. Mm. I was dying. This is this match was a backdrop for the greatest story I've heard all weekend. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it feels like a anticlimactic to actually review the match now. Um, <laughs> There's nothing to review. <laughs> it's Minoru it's Suzuki. I was trying to determine if this is more or less dangerous than being lit on fire. Um, <laughs> And uh, he's alive after both, so I'll, I'll leave, let Jack decide that for himself. But, uh, you know, Suzuki beat him up, no-sold everything, kicked his ass. I, I do love this ongoing storyline about Suzuki in, in any promotion he works for. He has a fatal flaw. He has an addiction to the Gotch-style pile driver, even though it's completely ineffective. <laughs> Not if he hits it. But he almost never hits it. And yeah. he usually stops doing something that works to try the Gotch pile driver, which doesn't work every time. So this happens, they go outside. It's like Sonata with his fucking moonsault. Yes, yes, yes. Jack hits a draping DDT in the floor. Oh, that was brutal. Kicks him into the stairs, rolls inside, wins by countout. I was fine with that finish. So Jack throws him in to do Christ knows what when Shibata makes the save. Yes. I assume that was doing Jack Perry versus Japan. But I hey, guess, yeah. that's a direction. That's a theme. That's something to latch on to rather than a bunch of random title matches. Shibata and Perry at uh, WrestleDream would be just fine by me. I got a lot of people here saying we should put Tony Schiavone in the Hall of Awesome. I just said that. Well, they're agreeing, apparently. Oh, well, jeez. I think that, uh, you know, he's had a long career. Everyone, Brian used to listen. I to would say, in fact, either. that I agree that he is awesome. All in favor of Tony Schiavone going to the Hall of Awesome, say I. Hi. I think he's quite awesome. Okay. Tony Schiavone, congratulations. You have been inducted into the Hall of Awesome. Matt Cleary would agree wholeheartedly. And Ian Riccoboni has been inducted into the Hall of Invisibility, which is a different we hall. Have that? <laughs> the, the, yeah. the sole member. Yes. Nobody knows where it's at, though. Yes. <laughs> no, one, no. no, you can't go there. Well, you I guess can't it's find true. It. There's him and John Cena. So. Mm. I did put him in. <laughs> Brian. <laughs> no, he's not there yet, Vinny. I don't care what his gimmick is. I didn't put the Invisible Man in there either. There was once no an invisible rates. man who wrestled. I saw him. He's not in the Hall That's of Invisible. True. It was, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button, and you'll never miss a video again.